Hey guys, it's Robin with um, Roanoke Fit Body Boot Camp, and um, I'm at home right now where I have a kitchen. And I wanted to, I um, shared a recipe the other day that had, um, it's like a low fat turkey chili um, with some squash in it. Um, and I love squash and cauliflower as a substitute for beans and rice, um, that kind of thing, because um, they do have a lower, in, uh, uh, lower glycemic impact on our blood um, stream and so it's just a nice alternative um, to keep you know the the lower starch carb down uh, etc but I wanted to show you something super quickly because even though I posted the recipe I didn't actually have all of the supplies so what do you do and if you're like me this is my pot's hot um, so I wanted to show you what I did is I had um, just some ground turkey and I just put that on the stove with a little bit of both olive oil and some spray Pam because it, so it wouldn't stick. That's a stainless steel. And all I did, again, you know me and my brags, is I um, flavored it a little bit with the brags, a little um, sea salt, and then I just added um, cumin. I did not add allspice. That was for my pumpkin smoothie yesterday. So a little bit of cumin and a little bit of... Ah, my chili powder. Anyway, you know what chili powder is, so if you have that at home, and garlic, okay? So um, depending on what your um, flavor, flavor flavor. So again, I used this as a flavorant with just a little bit of cumin chili powder, and I don't have cilantro, cilantro, gosh, it turned into my mother. She can't speak, neither can I. I cursed myself. Anyway, so remember the other day how I told you I steam squash and cauliflower, you know, while I'm getting ready and doing stuff. So that stuff was already prepared and set in my refrigerator. So now that I um, ground up the turkey, all I'm going to do is add it and heat it, okay? And so let's see if you can see this because that's probably more fun to look at than me. All right, so all I'm doing is adding a little bit to that. And then I'm just going to keep um, heating it and grinding again because it's already cooked. It's really... If I wanted to eat it now, great. If not, I'm going to chop this up. And then I wanted to show you real quickly what I do with that. So I have my scale. Let's take it down here. We hopefully I don't drop you in my stuff. So here's my scale. All right, cool. So we see my scale. And um, if, you're, if you haven't been measuring your food, again, I highly recommend it. And so now I'm going to zero out the scale. I just want you to see what I'm doing. Hopefully it's not backwards. And I'm going to go and measure my little thing. See how it's 3 ounces or 3.8 ounces? Then I want to zero it out again. And so at this point in time, let's put you back over here. All I'm going to do to get my 4 ounces is I'm just going to fill it into my little, because I've already preset my scale, and that's four ounces, okay? So wasn't that easy? And so that's about four ounces. But remember, d depending on which kind of protein you use, whether it's steak or fish or chicken, there's density um, that happens. So three ounces of steak will not look as uh, big as like three ounces of fish. So do um, measure, especially if you haven't been somebody who's been measuring your food. We are awful guesstimators, um, especially when it comes to eating. And so again, as you know, as I just showed you, I have a pile of sort of this turkey and squash mix. And it's very, very tasty, super easy grab and go. And I'm gonna fill up those, and that'll probably take me another five minutes tops, okay? So so again, when I pre-steamed the um, squash and the cauliflower, that was already set aside in my little bin. See them right there? So I have all that already preset. Then I had um, not frozen turkey and just put that on my stove. And like super fast, guys, a little bit of flavor in, and you've got a grab-and-go meal. You're prepared and you will be a whole lot less likely to stop and go get fast food which should be a once-in-a-while thing, not an everyday-twice thing, okay? Mm -hmm. Love you, mean it, and I'll talk to you later.